Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Hola. Hola. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. We have 195 people in here. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Vicki. Hi. 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 My clock goes off. <laughs> okay, you guys, guess what? Today, we are going to be making the trending Snickers bananas. We're gonna be making frozen banana bites. We're going to be making tuna salad and an iced coffee. Okay, so first, what we're going to do here is introduce my guest host. We have Jesse Say Hey, who is our new Food Talk TV creator, and we have Miss Vicky, who is also one of our what? new TikTok creators. Our website is www.foodtalktv.com. You can find all our information on there. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a banana, okay? We're gonna cut these bananas. You can do thick slices, you can do thin slices, whatever, all right? We're gonna do some slices here. So Vicki, would you like to tell us about yourself? Sorry, I was still I was still muted. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I am Vicki Brown. I come in on Fridays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, which would be 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I do a little bit of this and that. A lot of people know me as Cupcake Lady. I bake, I bartend, and I love to cook. So make sure that you come and check out my show as well on Fridays at 4 p.m. All right, Jesse, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, everyone. My name is Jesse Say Hey, and I am a creator on Food Talk as well as my own channel, Jesse Say Hey. I like to cook any and all foods. Um, most of it is based on Italian cooking. I um, have a new show on Food Talk TV coming out next week on Tuesday at 5 p.m. So that'll be my first show ever. So I'm excited to see uh myself <laughs> there <laughs> and hopefully a couple more people <laughs> is everything Whoops, okay baby. it's all okay. right <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to cut your bananas into little bitty pieces. Cut your bananas all right little bitty pieces. Pieces. Oh, I'm going to mute myself. I think I'm hearing you through my Maybe you guys should come out and come back in. Okay. Maybe you guys should come out and come back in. Okay. Okay, so first off. Okay, so first off. Yeah, press the X button and then come out and come back in. So first off, what we're going to do is take the peanut butter and you're going to put it on the banana. Yeah, take the peanut butter out. Okay. So we got mm. when you usually have it on another device to have live on another device, it does that. Okay. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I am putting in pe um, peanut butter on some of these ends here. Okay. And you can put as much as you want. You can put a lot or a little or whatever. And then we're just gonna place them on top here. We're gonna place them on top. 
Everybody, make sure to tap those screens. Tap the screens and share the lives, please. Share it with five family members and friends. So make sure to tap, tap, tap those screens. Let's see if we can get her to 10K likes today. Y'all know, make my day with 10K. Trendy, I like that. <laughs> make my day with 10K. I yeah. like the sound of that. Okay, so right now I am putting um, just peanut butter on top here. And then we're going to dip it in chocolate. But what you need to do is, is you need to put these in the freezer. And so this one is just whatever. So I'm just going to throw that one away. So I'm going to put this in the freezer and then I'm going to bring something out. Okay. Jim says he wants you to make bananas foster. So he just wants you to start setting things on fire. All right. So just right here it. I got our banana and peanut butter. And then I got two frozen bananas. Um, we're gonna set that aside a second. I'm gonna show you what I did with that, with the banana. So I'm gonna cut open a banana like this. Ew. You know, you wanna get those stringies off. Sometimes it comes off with it, sometimes it doesn't. Just cut it in the middle. Get you, a, if you can get a, a large skewer, you can get a popsicle stick. A popsicle stick usually works the best, okay? But which I don't have, surprisingly. It's probably downstairs somewhere. So I just stick it in there, and you're going to freeze these. Make sure you do the sharp end down, and you want to make sure it's not poking like that. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for the gifts, everybody. We really appreciate every single person's gifts. And if I get a big fancy gift, I'll do a little dance for that. All right. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer with those. And so now we're gonna melt us some dark chocolate in the microwave. I have some chocolate cover melt. I don't have that much in there, but it's okay because we also got white chocolate that we can do. You can put some coconut oil in it as well to, to make it more of a magic shell. All right. Everybody, make sure that you follow Food Talk TV right here on TikTok. Also, make sure that you follow our lovely host at Gluten Free Mama Ann. Oh, those look so good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to dip these in chocolate. We're going to do this is we can dip, we're going to dip one in chocolate, the other one or not. Um, maybe, we'll see. But we have chocolate syrup, we have caramel syrup, and we have crushed almonds to put on it. Okay, so... Let's see if this is melted. You don't want your hands to be wet. Because if your hand touches that and it's wet, Hi, you're chef. going to shock it. Hi, chef. So you can use a double boiler, whatever, a chocolate melter. I'm usually a microwave person. All right, so tell us about the website, Jesse. So foodtalktv.com has all of your information regarding this TikTok channel and all of the other platforms that Food Talk TV is on. You can find Food Talk TV on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, right here on TikTok. Um, there is just a plethora of different things you can learn about cooking and the creators on Food Talk TV. If you want to read a little bio about everyone you're watching, you can find it there. And you can find a handy dandy little schedule. So if you want to tune in at a certain time, you can put that in your calendar. All right, so I got our little chocolate here ready to rumble. So we're going to. While she's dipping that, let's go ahead and say hi to everyone that's down here. Hi, Chef Neil. Hi, Cottage Kitchen. Hi, Deanna. How are you doing today, love? Hey, Cass, how are you doing? I don't think we say hi to Cass. So, hey, Cass, how are you doing? Yes, Jesse, awesome. 
Ooh. Okay. So why doesn't everybody tell us what state you live in? And then the ladies can read it off. We want to know where you're from. I'm from Kentucky. I'm from Washington State, so the Pacific Northwest. Mm, good morning, I am from Illinois. I'm right outside of Chicago. Live in the 515 is the name of her show, y'all. 815. <laughs> oh, 815. I think 515 has better better weather weather than I do. <laughs> Where's that at? I it gotta be somewhere south, if I'm not mistaken. Cause I know like 501 is like Florida area code somewhere, right? Or at least my cousin that stays in Dustin, his area code starts with 501. I'm not sure. But it looks like we have someone from Italy that is currently living in Florida. We have Alabama and Miami, Florida, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Utah. Utah. Oklahoma. Yeah, Oklahoma, Utah, and that Utah soda water. I've been on that TikTok for a little a while now. <laughs> Saltwater taffy usually comes in here. All right, so Chef I'm now Nail said this is her favorite snack. Um, it's packed with protein. Yeah, it's a good protein snack. You know, um, I do know that like at the store you can buy chocolate covered banana bites. Um which I'm not doing. All right, so we're dipping this in here. Hi, Nelly X. If I, I hope I said that right. Hi, Nelly X. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you follow us because there's someone cooking every single day and you will learn a lot of new recipes. And she also said that she made these yesterday. So, okay, these are a hit everywhere else. Maybe I should make these with my son. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm running out of chocolate, <laughs> which is fine, but it's starting to get gooey on me. Now you want to freeze these. Look how look how interesting this one's gonna look. All right, we ran out of room on that one. So with these, what we're going to do? You want to make sure they're frozen, y'all. So what we're gonna do with these? Is open these. Hi, Australia. Australia. All right, y'all. We go live every single day. Okay. Tomorrow, we are having Frank live at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you'll have to tune into that. Ashton says she loves your apron. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do with this is we're just going to um, go like this on here. Hi, Gouda Cook. I think I seen you say hi earlier, and I'm sorry if I didn't mention you earlier. You see what I'm doing? That looks so yummy. That chocolate sauce or is that fudge? This is Sunday syrup. Mmm, so a little bit a little bit of both, maybe. <laughs> hey, Spudgy. Mm. And then you want the caramel. And you're gonna do the same. Then you're gonna take, you can use cashews, but I'm gonna use almonds. Chef Nail says she needs you to send some of those snacks. Okay, we didn't get to this one. I'm gonna set that out. We didn't get to that one. Look how beautiful. We're gonna freeze these, okay? It's gonna make them nice and hard. Beautiful. My eyes look sleepy. Everybody make sure to tap those screens, tap the screens and share the live, please. Let's see if we can get her to 10K. Y'all know, make my day and get it to 10K. So come on, y'all. Make sure to tap, 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 tap those screens and make sure to share this live with five of your friends and family, please. And follow 
Food Talk TV for more tips and tricks. Someone's going live every day. So make sure you check that out on foodtalktv.com as well to see the schedule and to get these wonderful recipes. Okay, so I need everybody to put in a happy face emoji or a sad face emoji. Let us know how you're feeling today. You happy or are you sad? Okay, so now I'm gonna make tuna salad, right? So what we need is Dijon mustard. You just however much you want, okay? It doesn't matter. So we're gonna use Dijon mustard. We're also going to use mayonnaise. Doesn't matter what kind you got, okay? We'll add more here in a little bit. Sea salt. We got crushed black pepper. Okay, then we need zest of one lemon. I like my stuff flavorful. I don't know about you, but I like my handy dandy little zesty maker. And be careful because you don't want to cut your fingers, your knuckles, whatever. Hi, dancing puppy. Oh, I hope you're feeling a little better today. Okay, what I'm going to do is cut it in half here. And just zest, uh, use a little bit of the lemon juice for right now. Oh, I got to see that knife. You got to show me that knife. Wow. This is for people that um, arthritis, several palsy, whatever. It is in our Amazon store. It is also under my name on our website. Gluten-Free Mama Ann, okay? And it'll be right under my name. You can go in and these type of knives, you can buy them on Amazon. And it's great. Um, I have nerve damage. So, and arthritis. So a lot of stuff bothers me. Right, parsley. Okay. Let's get some onion, red onions going. Okay. We have two celery sticks. Whoa. Okay, let's make this up a little bit here. Make sure to tap those screens, everybody. We are halfway there to getting her to 10K, a little over halfway. So make sure that y'all tap, tap, tap those screens. Make my day and get us to 10K. And make sure to share this live as well. Make sure to follow up at Gluten Free Mama and And then also make sure to follow Food Talk TV. And All right. right here. So I'm going to do this in a separate jar because I don't like my eggs clumpy. Not everybody puts eggs in their tuna salad. That's fine. But I do. Um, I'm going to put this in here so it's not clumpy. Yes, I had coffee today. So I'm full of energy just for you guys. All right. So we're going to just chop this up. Hey, if you have any of that energy left over, can you please ship it up here to Illinois? <laughs> All right, so you just chop up your egg whites however you want to. If you All like right. eggs in your tuna, why don't you drop an egg emoji down in the chat? Let's see those eggs if you like eggs in your tuna. All right. Hi, Righteous Kitchen. Hi, Righteous Kitchen. Hi. She's my friend. She is my friend, y'all. Today I was told I sounded like I was from Eastern Kentucky. And I said, honey, I am from Indiana. I've just been out here for almost 10 years. So maybe it's starting to swing on me. So oh, you're gonna so match my it neighbor. up with pork. I'm weird, I always do this separately. Yeah, it's like a thousand steps, I don't care. Is that Deanna in the building? Yes, I it is. Hi, Deanna. She's one of our friends. She's so sweet. All right. 
So I'm mixing up mayonnaise and Dijon. You can use yellow mustard, I don't care. Nobody cares. All right, so let's add this in here. Tap, tap, tap those screens, everybody. We are a thousand away from being at 10K. Come on and make my day. Make sure the All right, so out. far we have red onions, celery, parsley, salt and pepper, egg white, egg yolk, um, mayonnaise, mustard. Okay, so here we go. Why don't you guys talk about cooking club? No. Cooking club. Okay, so every Wednesday night, Food Talk TV's offers cooking club. And it is on Zoom, y'all. You get to go in there and hop in with all the creators every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So... You go on the website, you sign up, there's a monthly fee on there. And sometimes we even go live during cooking club, but it's for subscribers only. So you can watch all the nonsense that we are doing, folks. You get to watch all the nonsense. So let's add all of our tuna in here. All right, so I am mixing this up. I'm going to be making a uh, breadless sandwich. Now, can either of you guess what I'm going to use as the bread? Lettuce. No. A cucumber boat. That would be nice. I never thought of that. That actually <laughs> sounds pretty good. Um, oh. I don't know. A tortilla shell? Tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. tomatoes. I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed. All right. So, what we're going to do is a nice yellow tomato. If that, I don't think that knife's going to let me do it. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me use this knife. That is a gorgeous tomato. It is, isn't it? So beautiful. You don't want it too thin. Look at how beefy that is. I don't like the the juicy. I hate to say it. I don't like the juicy tomatoes. I like when there's tons of flesh inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. Flesh. Yes. Sorry. I feel like I'm down juicy. They just be too mushy, and I still like them to be kind of more firm. Yes. The righteous See, kitchen. The righteous kitchen was playing blues clues. She was trying to figure out what you were gonna use with context clues. Blues clues. <laughs> yeah, everybody's been through the blues clues phase. I have a kid. I watched blues clues when I was a child, so <laughs> Yes. I was Literally probably like a, too old to watch it, but I still did. <laughs> like a year I'm, ago when he came back with that message, I was just boohooing. Oh, my God. Was, we love you too, Steve. <laughs> Look Yummy. at that. Wow. That looks like a crabby pat, a pretty patty. Yes. <laughs> okay. And we're going to make little appetizers with it. With red oh. tomatoes. I have washed these. I just leave it on the stem. You know what? We don't even care if you washed them. I would eat it anyway. You know, some people, when they pick their tomatoes. Yeah. No. 100%. Yeah. I'm down with you. I got it. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'm going to cut these. Into little burgers. I guess you would say boogles. Boogles. So while you're cutting that, can you do a rundown of everything that you put inside your tuna salad? Yeah. 
So I have red onion. I have parsley, um, Dijon mayonnaise, lemon juice, zest of one lemon, or however much zest you want, um, celery, and eggs, and tuna. Um, okay, so we're going, we need a smaller spoon. We need a smaller spoon. So what I'm gonna do, Ooh, fancy. Ooh. You saw that, huh? You know what, just give me one through the phone. <laughs> just, sit, just send me one through the phone. <laughs> okay. Just, just one? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Every time you guys say send it to the phone, it reminds me of that song that goes, kiss me through the phone. Oh, <laughs> no. I can't help it. <laughs> Almost everything reminds me of a song. Yes. Yes. I'm the same way. That or a movie, uh, a movie line. <laughs> yes. My life is in movie quotes. <laughs> All right, everybody. Me, I don't know. We are at 13K. Make sure to tap those screens. Let's see if we can get her up to 20K, y'all. Also, follow Food Talk TV right here on TikTok. Make sure that you follow Gluten Free Mama Ann. Uh, make sure you follow Jesse Say Hey right down there and Cupcake Lady 89. You can go on Food Talk TV. Um, later on to get this recipe. You can also go on there to see the schedule of all the chefs. Jesse will be starting this week or next week, Jess? Next week on Tuesday. Awesome. Tuesdays at 2? 5 p.m. Pacific. 5 p.m. Pacific. All right, y'all. So make sure that y'all follow her. Make sure that you go to foodtalktv.com and check that out and see the schedule for all the other chefs and check out these lovely recipes. Tap the screens. They do look like little fishing bobbers. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. They're so cute, though. Or little pokeballs. Just oh, put yeah, a black olive ball. right right there. And I the got to catch them all. I think I literally <laughs> have to catch them all. I'm going to turn this around. Oops. I'm getting in the floor. Do you have dogs? No, do you? Oh, well, yes, I do. They're by Hoover's. So I'd just be like, yeah, it's on the floor. It'll sort itself out. <laughs> Yummy. Ooh. So cute. I could just dip those in some ranch right now and just. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put the rest of this. In an airtight container. Well, no, let's let's put it in this, and then I'll put it in the fridge. Yes, Chef Nail, some basil or some parsley. Yes. Mm, I think she put mm. parsley in there. I put parsley. Yeah. This morning I woke up and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna make, uh -huh. and, I, and I talked to Kaz and he actually woke me up and he. And he, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to make. make I've made um, tomato, tuna tomato bites like that without the egg. And I air fried them with cheese on top. And they were, I'm just a sucker for toasted cheese, I think. Oh, it just makes everything better. Yes. Cheese for life. <laughs> cheese for life. <laughs> you know, I have issues with dairy and I'm slowly trying to get back into it. I have uh, diverticulitis. My so mother-in-law has diverticulitis. Hers is, hers is and are you saving this for later or is this going into another dish? 
Just saving it. Just saving it. You're a Pyrex queen. Is that what I'm seeing? These are old. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Are they, they Pyrex? They look like Pyrex. Pyrex. Bye, These are my, have a great day. my grandma, so who knows how old they are. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. All right, so we're going to put this in the fridge. Okay, we're going to clean up our station. While I clean up our station, why don't you guys introduce yourself for those who have not been in here? Hi, I am Vicki Brown, a.k.a. Cupcake Lady. People also know me as Chef Vicki. I have a show here. I'm new to the Food Talk crew. Um, I have a show that comes on Fridays at 5 p.m., uh, 4 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to follow Food Talk TV so you can see that come in on your timeline. Make sure you subscribe so you can get alerts as well. You can do that right at the bottom left. Um, of the screen and yes I will see y'all there I hope y'all come and check me out and get a chance to know me a little better I'm gonna go ahead and switch it down to Jess down here hi my name is Jesse say hey and I am brand new to food talk tv uh, my first show ever will be next week Tuesday at 5 p.m I will have no idea what I'm doing so if you guys want to watch me make a disaster be there or be square either or <laughs> and I'm very excited about joining Food Talk TV, which you can learn more about each of us on the website, foodtalktv.com. Awesome. So now I'm going to be melting us some more chocolate. I'm going to be doing white chocolate. Let's hope it works. I don't have much chocolate. But it's okay. All right, let's get a smaller bowl. So we are almost at 16K, everybody. Thank y'all so much for taking the time to <laughs> watch. Yes, thank you for taking the time to watch this and everything. Please make sure to share this live with five of your friends and family members. And please tap, tap those screens. We are so close to 20K, y'all. Let's see if we can get her there. And thank y'all once again for watching. All right, so here's our bananas that we just kind of froze. We're going to get us some uh, skewers for this so we can dip it if it'll let me. Am I crazy or were your bananas pimped out earlier? What? Where well, did we all the for those who didn't see it? Oh, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say there was a lot more going on last time. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. All right. Let's see here. Ashton says she loves the colors in your kitchen. Thank you. All right. So let's move this out of the way. We are going to get a glass plate. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to use chocolate syrup. Don't mind, don't mind my dogs making a ruckus in the background. <laughs> I don't hear them. No, I don't hear them. Good. <laughs> then I don't have to put them in the corner. <laughs> now, are these also frozen? Are you freeze them afterwards? You can do both at the same time. This is just slightly frozen, you know. Okay. She is making frozen bananas right now, dipped in chocolate. She just made some tuna salad sandwiches, but she used tomatoes as the buns. She did little tiny um, 
cherry vined tomatoes as appetizers and she used a really huge delicious yellow tomato as the main course. Mm, it's hot. It's... All right. So now what I did here was peanut butter and banana. And we're gonna dip it in some white chocolate and the white chocolate will melt for me. I don't have that much dark chocolate. And right here, I made a tuna salad sandwich with a yellow tomato, okay? Hey, Andrea. Yeah? Can you do like a little curtsy? You have static cling in the back of your dress. <laughs> I was hoping you'd do a little uh, more of a dance with it, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> <laughs> the nice little spin around. Of... Yeah. <laughs> we wanted a, a 360. <laughs> it shocks my chocolate again. Oh, dang it. You might it's be able fine. to save you know, it. We're going to do the same thing we did with those. We're, we're not going to let that bother us. All right. So let's just... Uh... If you add a little bit of um, vegetable oil, it will actually kind of like bring the chocolate back to life a little bit. Uh, vegetable oil kind of thins the chocolate out, but you can use like vegetable oil or butter. And sometimes that can actually like bring the chocolate back to life. Even the, the peanut butter that you have, the oils and the peanut butter will help a little bit. We're going to try to put some fudge on top. Yum, yum. It doesn't matter if it's a little squirt because we were just going to put it in our mouth. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you, everybody, for the gifts, the likes, and the shares. Make sure to continue to tap those screens and share the live. So now, while everything cools down and quit irritating me, Thank you for the gift. We're going to make frozen coffee. Okay. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. We're going to line up our, it doesn't matter if it's fancy or not, okay? We're going to put some chocolate syrup going on in there. Some people do this turnaround thing. I don't know. I'm not, I've never, I'm not, I've never worked at Starbucks, okay? I'm going to use some caramel. Ooh, yummy. That looks good. Okay, we're gonna get us a cup of ice. Doesn't matter really how much ice you use. Hi, ketchup is garbage. <laughs> Hi, ketchup. Hi. <laughs> She's not ketchup. Her name is Taylor, y'all. And she is the mustard queen. There's mice in there. So we're going to do ice, almond milk, and coffee in our mixture. Hi, everybody. Make sure we're almost at 20K. Make sure to tap, tap, tap those screens. You can go on foodtalktv.com to find these recipes later on. Um, you can also go and see the schedule of the upcoming chefs and their times that they'll be going live. Somebody goes live every day of the week. Make sure to follow Food Talk TV here on all social medias, including Twitch and YouTube. Uh, make sure that you follow Gluten Free Mom and Make sure you follow Jesse. Say hey. She has a show that will be premiering next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure y'all check that out. Also follow me. I have a show that comes on on Fridays at uh, 4 p.m. Central time, 5 p.m. Eastern time. All right. Well, let's get this ball rolling. Everybody, put your earmuffs on. In just a moment. She's gonna be. Blast in the blender. Now this is coffee. This is coffee, almond milk, and ice, okay? You know, 
doesn't take that long, okay? <laughs> That's some good suction. Those are good suction cups. Good suction. Cass said a latte. A latte. We are a thousand away from 20K. Oh my God, y'all are amazing. Thank y'all so much for the like and the shares. Continue to tap those screens. We still have a few minutes here. So let's see if we can reach for 25, 30K. Are y'all If feeling, you have Ready Whip ready, you can use Ready Whip. I only have Cool Whip. I'm not fancy. All right. So let's just. Whip. I go through whip. phases in my life where all I want is just cool whip. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I could just sit and eat a whole tub if you gave me the time. My son does that. Well, your son's my bestie now. Don't tell we him can, that. <laughs> we can get diabetes together. <laughs> Okay, so let's sprinkle some caramel on top. I'm gonna put chocolate chips on top if you want. It's dripping. Let's sprinkle some chocolate. Hi, Nina. She says she does that as well, Jess. She says she does it as well. <laughs> Ashton's calling me out. She says that's not how diabetes works. Okay. She's making an iced coffee latte right now. Oh, she did it with coffee. Um, almond milk. Almond milk. Um, syrups. We had chocolate and caramel syrup. Um, ice. Cool whip. Yep. All right. So let's get this stuff out. All right, everybody, make sure that you follow foodtalktv.com. Make sure that you follow Food Talk TV here on TikTok, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, all social medias. TikTok is on. Make sure that you follow us there. Also, make sure to go on foodtalktv.com to check out these lovely recipes, along with seeing the schedules for all the chefs. Continue to tap those screens for us. Y'all got us to 20K. Y'all are amazing. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure that you follow Gluten Free Mama Ann and see all her wonderful gluten free recipes that I will be stealing myself. <laughs> So the caramel just w went off of it. So I'm just going to. You can't have too much of that. Okay. Now, I'm going to get us a plate. What's in the stuck? I don't know what you mean by that, Nina. I'm sorry. Stick. Oh, it's banana. <laughs> We're going to blame it on autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> She's fighting okay. for her life trying to get the word out. I understand. I'm eat it. Oh. Yum. I'm good. oh, yeah, we know it is. Look at it. <laughs> yes. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> That's how you know it's good when you can't say it, but you have to show it. I love the thumbs up. I was like, okay, yes. <laughs> okay. I think I think frozen bananas are better than cake pops or anything like that. I would rather have that any day. I just hate making cake pops, so I'm with you just off of that. Oh, <laughs> when I had my bakery, that was the one product that we didn't sell was cake pops. I believe you. I just so, bought like, cake pops back. I just yeah. bought them back. <laughs> the labor just was not worth it for me. <laughs> really? I'm 
Yes. Yeah. All right. My Mahamo Kitchen. So here we got banana, caramel, chocolate syrup, almond slices. You can use cashew. You can melt some peanut butter and put that on there instead of caramel. If you want. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Pistachio cream would be really good on that, too. Ooh. Oh, Thank you, I'm Dancing a sucker Puppy. for that. So this, we have chocolate dipped bananas. I just ate one for you. We have two slices of bananas with peanut butter. Freeze it for a little bit. Make it nice and hard. Dip it in chocolate. Okay. Nina, if you're allergic to bananas, just trust me on what I'm about to say. Frozen avocados dipped in chocolate are just as, they're oh, not as I sweet, know. but they're so good. What's my avocados? All right, yeah. I'm gonna get you. And they're filled with potassium, just like bananas. I'm but... gonna try that one out, Jess. I, I can tell for like the creamy, like the creamy texture of the avocado and the banana, I can see how, I can see how that works. Yeah, my mom, when she was going through chemotherapy, avocados were her saving grace. And she would eat sweet avocados like a strange, strange woman. But I had to try it, and it's really good. Okay. Thanks for the gifts, Mom. Thanks for the gifts, Mom. <laughs> so here we have our bananas and caramel. Mm -hmm. We have our tuna salad sandwich. We have our tuna salad sliders our drink and we have our chocolate covered banana bites and we're gonna get our tuna salad out so we can look how pretty it is thank you gouda cook for the all the gifts thank you so so much for all the gifts thank you everybody make sure to tap the screens okay tap 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 all right gorgeous so, thank you so much for watching Food Talk TV. We appreciate every single one of you. Please hit that like button um, on our videos and our follow, the follow button. All right, this is Food Talk TV signing off. Bye-bye, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye.